Afternoon, everyone. Uh, appreciate you coming out. I want to really kind of capture what was said there. And I think 100% super honest, we're a small business. I would assume a lot of you are small businesses. And what, what we're trying to do here is how do we empower other small businesses? So we had a lot of use cases from Mr. Watkins. And some of them may landed right in your lap. Others may not have. The idea here is we're, we're data integrators. And I say we're just data integrators because without someone supporting that data, without someone bringing that data to us, we're worthless. And that sensor is worthless if it's alone. So one of the things is a takeaway, and, and what I want to really follow up on and kind of tie uh, these things together is how do we take your small business and our small business and create a doubly powered small business? How do we make... How do we, you know, answer some of Mr. Watkins' questions? How do we give him the tools? So I was an infantry guy and, you know, a JSOC guy, and I got out and I uh, became a firefighter EMT. And I, I don't know if Paul is here, but uh, Paul was here. Paul was a paramedic. So we, we, all right, there we go, paramedic or firefighter, both? Okay, good for you. My son's going through that. I would not wish that upon anyone. <laughs> I didn't want to do EMT, but uh, I wanted to be more capable on the fire ground. So when, from my perspective, when I, when, I, when I came up with this idea of the informed environment, how do, we, how do we bring partners together to develop a solution that helps me but helps my kids? I was, a J, I was a shooter at JSOC. I did a lot of terrible things, so I've got to pay for a lot of terrible things. I've got to create a better community for my kids. And that's what this is all about, for me at least. So when we talk about... You know, what, the, what, what is JADC2, which, you know, Colonel Joe Sforsky is going to talk about shortly, and compare that to ICS, how do we answer Mr. Watkins' questions with the concept of ICS? And one of the real key fundamental differences between, you know, a smart city and, you know, the U.S. military is 20 years of combat. I was one of those young soldiers who went in there early. I remember what it was like. 20 years of combat. And it wasn't the technology that helped us get along. It was to TTPs to implement that technology. Data isn't powerful unless I know how to use that data. If I don't know how to make a decision quicker with that data, it's a pain in the ass. It's not helping. So TTPs are going to be the most important thing. And how do you drive those TTPs in LE? So how do I, how do I help a police officer understand how he can use you know, a blah, blah data sensor, or how do I help her understand, you know, a blah, blah, you know, widgie hoochie. None of those things help her unless I can help her understand how to use it. And the other part of that is common operating picture. We talked about this morning a little bit. We have to provide a common operating picture. And again, the military has set forth a marginal common operating picture with intact, but we've kind of pushed on beyond that with Blue Force, the common arc, where you got your food, that's our common operating picture we use with Mike Helfridge over at Blue Force. And what that allows us to do is to take LE, take fire, take all these different organizations and overlay them on one, material, one, one tool. And now what might be important information for fire can be shared with LE that they didn't know was important information. Like fire might, and honestly, Ben will, Mr. Watkins will attest to this, there's oftentimes, as a firefighter, people tell me everything. Tell me where their meth is. Literally, 100%, hey, man, don't go in that door. I got fentanyl. They will tell me that. They will not tell a law enforcement. They won't even tell the paramedic because the paramedic is oftentimes obligated if there's a child in half, oftentimes obligated. For us, they, they just want to get out of there. So it's a very interesting situation where I might have accidentally have information that could help them. Now, I'm not saying I would hide the fentanyl situation. I don't want to make that be there. Simplicity. Straightforward. I think Mr. Watkins covered that in great detail. Understanding objectives drives tactics. So we're going to talk about that in a second, and that starts at the stakeholder SME level. Understanding objectives. And the objectives may not be to take Fallujah. The objectives might be to restore power. So the tactics are, what do I need? I need Duke Energy here. I need this. I need a firefighter crew to go down and take down this tree. I need these things. Those are the tactics that um, 
don't know if this is my phone or one of y'all's, but I don't know. But the tactics that drive that objective are very important. Seconds saves lives. You'll hear that a lot, at least from me. You guys can read ICS. This is what Mr. Watkins lives and dies by, probably most frustratingly. Incident command system. This is the tools that as a firefighter or law enforcement or anyone uses to function day-to-day -day at a traffic stop or a hurricane, right? JADC2. This is the platform that the military is transitioning to to take data from multiple different levels, from the Navy, from the Air Force, and create a tool set to do whatever they're supposed to be doing. Send people to meet God or, you know, securing a facility during a, uh, uh, you know, a, a tragedy. OODA loop. Observe, orient, decide, act. Why this is important is because this is how we think. This is how the military thinks, and it's transitioning slowly into the sled space. But that OODA loop is very important because at some point, it is a loop. So you come back on yourself. So you have to relook at that data before you can decide. Pretty straightforward. So I'm going to observe the data, right? I want to know what the data is. We have to create TTPs at this point, observe, that allows us to take the in that, to ingest that data and make a decision. So it has to be quick, has to be compliant with what we have. Eyes, Samsung, you know, whatever it is, it has to meet the compliant requirements of maybe the human body. I have to see it, to hear it, but it has to have some way to be compliant with what we're using. Maybe it's ICS you're having to maintain compliance with. Orion, that's an easy one, right? Everyone's driven on the road, they got the map, you turn the map in the direction you want to go, and then you know what, you know, you figure out where left and right is based off north south. Orient yourself, you make that decision, you act, starts over again. It's pretty simple, but it's very important. Now, when we're taking this data in, we have a Venn diagram of a quick decision. It's usually built off experience, or you prune the data. Mission success. We have data analysis and enough data, or too much data. Somewhere in there is the important piece. That's what we as small businesses need to provide. We need to work with guys like Ben, work with Colonel Jostforsky, you know, in, in the military as they work on JADC2. We need to develop tools to help them understand it because, you know, what Verkata can do is wonderful, but maybe they can't fit this other solution that maybe, you know, Sherpa Works can. So tied together, they become a very powerful company. We need to work together to fulfill that Venn loop or, or, or Venn model. Now, when we look at this as building the informed environment, Start at the bottom here, the stakeholders. Mr. Watkins was very, very deliberate. It's not just fire or LE. It's everyone. Water purification. So maybe you have a partner that knows everything about water purification. Uh, city infrastructure, communications, all these different things lead to building a common operating picture. Types of incident is different than mission. And success, expectation of success is different. Build this up, and we kind of move forward with that. And finally, let's get our takeaways. Pretty straightforward. I don't need, necessarily need to read them, but when it's all said and done, we want to empower that first responder, or that first responder to easily make quick decisions that control his environment. Yeah. Okay. The second bullet there: predetermined, pre-approved, event-driven driven bundled authorities what does that mean that means kind of what you know mr Watkins was talking about so if i'm fire i have a set of tool sets that i use that pull data now if a law enforcement officer shows up on scene he may not need that bundled data until he gets on scene and then maybe once he arrives that data can be shared with him over a samsung so that he has fulfilled that data so that's understanding what your internal bundled authority is and then at the bottom there making useless data useless and impactful that's the sig that's that that's huge that's everything that's everything so i'm going to go ahead and go in, uh introduce we'll talk about colonel joseph Forsky and where this all comes into a tying into a, a more future thing i think are we going to take a break real quick yep so let's so, take a quick break uh
Um, the colonel's ready for us, so he's going to be joining us 